Sorry. Gotenna has a defective product in a lot of ways, and it could put a lot of people at risk. Uh, 911 service is nothing to mess around with. It's not working. They know it's not working. Locations sent to 911 aren't accurate, necessarily. They may not be. Users aren't warned that they're not. There's no way for 911 PSAP centers to respond to text messages via the GoTenna network. There's no statutorily required emergency fail bag bounce back message that it didn't go through. That's been a requirement since 2014. Now, they'll argue that it doesn't apply to them, but shouldn't it? I mean, if we're talking about lives of Americans that they're putting at risk by not making 911 available and by forbidding it in their acceptable uh, use policy in terms of service, that seems ridiculous and dangerous. It seems against public policy. We don't want providers of services to rinse their hands and not even risk trying to get a 911 message out. They are scared to take any liability and try it, so they forbid it. If there's new services available all the time, and we're going to be needing them, it's counterproductive, dangerous, and against the public trust and goodwill to disincentivize corporations like Gotenna, Twilio, Bridgefy, and others from providing a bridge to 911. Uh, there's thousands, literally thousands of uh, 911 text-enabled PSAP centers throughout the U.S., covering at least 6 to 10 of the biggest cities in the U.S., many, many places. As we're talking tens, tens of millions of lives that could be saved, that are risked and jeopardized if we do nothing. Gotenna, Twilio, and others refuse to provide 911 access, and they refuse to provide any kind of an update. They won't answer any questions. I've asked them. I've written articles, I've, I've touched base by Twitter, uh, Instagram, everything publicly, and Gotenna refuses to answer any questions. There's some defects, there's some failure to warn. I would think this would be strict product liability. I can't believe their lawyers allow them to put a product on the market that they know is defective without warning anybody. It seems reckless uh, indifference. Um, I can't believe Coast Guard, DHS, FCC, Ajit Pai, no one seems to give a shit that this 911 service does not work and they're disincentivized because of red tape uh, and stupid liability. Uh, I would think their liability goes up knowing of the problem and refusing to take any remedial action, let alone with due diligence uh, of, uh, in this type of a situation. 911 is generally rather important. I didn't mean to be the spokesman for this, but fuck, no one else, everyone's too polite to say anything. Their product is defective, someone needs to hold Gotenna, Twilio, uh, and other communications companies that endanger lives for profit, allow lives to be endangered to avoid risking their profit. It's... I don't know, what do y'all think? Any advice? Anyone got any ideas? Go tell me you want to talk off the record? I don't know, man. We got to do something. You've put out the SDK, the Software Developer Kit. That's a good start. Uh, maybe organically we need to develop our own solutions. I wish that as a government contractor that's taken millions of dollars, at least hundreds of thousands, have sold hundreds of thousands, have taken tens of thousands of dollars in a public fundraiser, uh, would do something. There'd be some accountability, some statutory or CFR requirements of openness or audits or escrow of source code in case they go bankrupt. Maintaining this proprietary without any cross-platform access with competitors like Sonnet or others it inhibits first responders like the Coast Guard, volunteers, and others, and it imperils lives, Americans and others. And they're purposely injecting this product, which they know to be defective without warning, into the stream of interstate and international commerce recklessly open the comments below um gotenna promised not only this 911 thing gotenna promised to deliver 300 or so hundreds of gotenna emergency communications relays to puerto rico they raised 10 twenty thousand dollars to do it and i don't see it there um ics nims guidelines by uh, homeland security state that uh, communication should be made to the public. Locations 
uh, of these communications devices should be made public, uh, but yet Gotenna refuses to release these publicly donated and publicly funded uh, emergency backup communications relays. Uh, <laughs> Even in spite of the fact that they publish a map at imeshu.com of uh, of relay nodes, none are shown in Puerto Rico. Even though twenty thousand dollars, I don't. Does anyone know what it's gone to? Where it is? Does anyone see Gotenna mesh devices down there? Let alone set up with solar and a satellite backup as the uh, fund funding had had requested. It seems like straight uh, breach of contract, uh, willful. Uh, I, I just do not understand it. Uh, they were to provide emergency communications for relief efforts back in November of 2017, over a year ago, uh, to hundreds of thousands of those hardest hit in the central mountainous regions. I don't see any networks there. Utuado, Lares, um, Bayamon, I, I just don't see it. If it's there, I'd love to. I see some in the richest parts of San Juan. But I don't see it in the backcountry where it's needed most, where the roads are impassable, the storms bring mudslides and cut out power and diesel, uh, and the towers go down. We need communications. Uh, it, it just seems like we're playing Russian roulette with people's lives. Goten, I'm open to any comment. Twilio, same. I've reached out to them um, by every, every means available. Uh, I even... I don't know. If you guys know Jeff Ephiel... The CEO of Twilio, if you know Daniela Perdomo of Gotenna, or Jorge Perdomo, uh, the founder of Gotenna, um, if you know any of them and can get a message out asking them to address or at least look into the issue of 911 location, the Puerto Rico Emergency Backup Network, uh, I think that would be really helpful. Thank you and peace out. Respect and love. Happy holidays. Thank you for being here. Hey.